Hi, my name is John and I'm with Intaglio Editions and I'm going to show you how to clean your Intaglio Editions plate. We use the Toyovo KM73 plate. Uh, it's made of nylon and it is a little more sensitive than standard polymer plates because we use a high resolution Aquatint screen. So we recommend cleaning it with Soy Solve 2. So this is a soy based uh, solvent and it's uh, available on the internet. That's usually where I buy it in quantity. So uh, we've already inked and printed this plate, and so I'm going to apply soy solve. I just spray it on, and I'm kind of using my hand as a funnel to block the spray so it doesn't get everywhere. And then with a clean, gloved hand, I'm just massaging the soy solve into the plate to help pick up some of the ink. And we're going to do this twice. First time picks up the majority of the ink. Second time we get... Um, a little bit more and then we're going to take it over to the press where we will then run it through on a clean newsprint and that helps pull up all the ink. So this is a big plate so it's going to take a little bit longer to clean. But then I blot it with, uh, it can be a relatively dirty newsprint, it doesn't have to be immaculate for this stage in the cleaning process. You can see a lot of the ink coming up. Soy solve is much gentler on the plate than a lot of standard uh, solvents. But for a final wipe, we will use um, Gamasol, which is a uh, odorless mineral spirit. And it's a lot kinder on the environment and on your lungs. It's a little more expensive too, but you're worth it. So now that we've got a lot of the ink off the plate, we're going to take it over to the press. And then I like to take four sheets of clean, pristine newsprint to sop it up. And we found four is just the right number so that it doesn't leach through onto the blankets of uh, your press. And I don't use the same amount of pressure as I might with uh, printing a plate, so a little bit less pressure is adequate for cleaning and pulling the ink off the plate. So we want to run it through once, and now I'm going to <clears throat> reorder the, the clean newsprint so that um, we've got another clean sheet of newsprint to pull up even more of the ink. And then I'm just taking this uh, nasty one and putting it on top. I'm just reordering it and it's kind of working as padded for the for the solvent.
Okay, so at this point we've only put soy solve on the plate, and it's pretty clean. But I'm going to do another cleaning, final wipe with mineral spirits. And again, I'm using a gamma sol. And for this I'm going to use a clean glove, one clean glove. And there's gamma sol in this container here. And I'm just kind of saturate, not totally saturating the plate, but making sure it's 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 covered, and that there's no dry areas on the plate. And this just kind of wicks up the last little bit of ink that's in the plate. And this will make it so that the plate can be preserved uh, and stored. And used again months later or possibly even years later and so then I just take the same uh, side that I did the last run of the soy solid with and put it on top there isn't much soy solve in there so it'll pick up that last bit of mineral spirits nicely There you have it. The last thing I like to do with the plate once it's uh, once it's gone through this these steps is uh, just give it a, a quick rag wipe with a clean um, flannel rag, ideally, and that picks up even uh, the last remaining bit. And the other thing I like to do is wipe the edges of the plate, so any residual mineral spirits or soy solve isn't in the plate, so if you happen to be printing it the next day, it won't uh, remain there and leach into your, the first print you print that day. And as far as storage, I typically will wrap it in newsprint and tape it shut and store it flat in a flat file or some cool dry place. And that's it. That's how to clean your KM73 plate from Intaglio Editions. Thanks.